And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. What a joy it is having you come into our space here where we can minister the Word of God to you. And we're coming to you today with a message that has been preached somewhere around the world. Something like Santiago. I don't know where he is. I just pray that you'll be blessed, inspired, healed, delivered, set free, fear gone, faith arise, and that you will receive today from this preached word just what you need. Thank you so much for being here. I challenge you to go and do that rock. Oh, See, I've done it. you've done it, yeah. so you know how. I've done it many times. I've many times you've gone up rock. So, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so you're used to climbing rocks. And when I first used to go, it was like dangerous as anything. It's dangerous, exactly. But you're used to climbing that rock. Yes. Okay. Now, here is your second challenge: that the rock that you need to climb, like the rock at Guadalupe, is Jesus. You need to begin climbing on top of him like you did that rock. Because that's the only way she's going to be able to follow you. She cannot afford to be more spiritual than you. And the more you climb the rock, the more she's going to follow. The more you climb the rock, the easier your marriage is going to be. Because if you don't, she's going to give you hell. Because this is a bad woman. <laughs> you haven't even seen her temper yet. <laughs> and I, I challenge you, you don't want to see, you don't want to see Sister Mama Girl here. Okay. <laughs> but your marriage is going to be blessed as you climb the rock. You say you did it many times? You did it, you climbed up. Yes. The page of the, the Guadalupe, the Guadalupe, yes. many times, right. mucho. Yes. That's the key to your happy marriage. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Give the Lord a blessing off with you. I apologize. We're not preaching. You heard enough preaching here. Yeah, preachers come. Yeah, preaching is no big deal to you. My son, Bishop Clark, he comes and preaches. You got a preacher here. You don't need to hear me preach. Want to hear me preach? Tune on YouTube. I'm on there every day. But I come to release something in here that was not here. I come to add to a dimension that was not here. It was this kind of service that this church was built on. This is Pentecost Sunday. You're used to signs on wonders and miracles. You had them way back. But I'm reaching way back and bringing them here today. And I pray extreme blessings upon you, your family, your children. You have four? You, you want five? Just asking. <laughs> pray blessings upon you as you're in this transitional time of your lives. Pray that your transition will take you higher in every realm, spiritually, naturally, academically, financially, the whole deal. Hmm, wow. Probably something I have to tell you privately. Might be quite a challenge, I don't know. Lord, am I done? Finalizado. 
He knows what I'm saying. He says, I'm finished. Just lift your hands where you are. <clears throat> Father, I pray extreme blessings for this assembly. I pray that you will take them in places that no other church in the New York area has ever gone. May this be a beacon of light. May this place be a headquarters for the operation of the Holy Spirit. May this man of God and his family prosper and may his preaching accelerate. Let his voice be heard in many places in the states, even around the world. Bless those who stand with him, stand by him. Keith, 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 Keith. Oh, that's, where's Keith? I pray, Father, of the dreams and aspirations of so many in this house shall be taken, shall be seen, visualized, and realized. I pray that those who sow seed today, that that seed shall begin to, to be watered and grow Pastor, I see this house doubling. I see it doubling. But I see the house doubling. I'm I pray for Annie Bell, I pray for Tim, I pray for Tyrone, I pray. Louise, I pray for Louise, I pray for children, I pray for her. These who are in this COVID period, I pray that You'll cover them with your blood and protection. Keith, I'm just going to tell you what I saw. You do whatever you want to do with it. I saw you fanning 10, ten $100 bills at my feet. I saw you doing that. That's all I wanted you for. You, you do whatever you want with it. <clears throat> I just pray extreme blessings. I pray healing on ligaments and joints, back pains, injuries, those who have Whoever that was that was in a car accident that has not gotten right yet, I pray. Healing blessings on your limbs that you'll be strengthened. Everyone carrying a crutch today, I pray that you will just minister healing and power to them. These young people who are in school, cover them. Cover them, cover them. 
Bless them in their education. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Can you just stand a moment and lift your hands and I'm going to change keys. Praying long. I think it's an F maybe. That'll work. So if I'm going to F, you're going to B flat. Praise God. 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 Sing it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise. One more time. Just lift those hands high and sing it out of your heart. Praise God. Praise God. tuning in to us and I pray that you have been blessed and inspired delivered set free and healed if you have been why don't you sit down and send your gift to us $22 that's what I'm asking you to give that will denote what God is going to do in your life for the rest of this year be blessed hopefully we'll see you on tomorrow